Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Surviving Mars. We are now on Sol 266 and uh, we've got a cold wave uh, that is gonna stick around for another two sols and 16 hours. But we also have a meteor, meteor storm coming in in about uh, sol or so. Uh, so I think with the cold wave we're not really worried. Um, we've got the subsurface heaters in place. And um, actually, it would be good to check how long will it take before we don't have to worry about cold waves anymore. So it's 50% uh, of temperature. Okay, we've got 15. So another thing we could do... Hmm. Yeah, we could put a couple more of those GHG factories down. To speed up the uh, temperature even even more if you wanted to get rid of those uh, those nasty cold waves over here but uh um but yeah i think it's not a huge priority right now maybe uh maybe maybe we'll change our opinion about that in um, a little bit later but for the time being um let's give you a quick uh, quick recap of of what we've been focusing on in the in the last episode so we were, we're trying to you know, boost the uh, boost our research points um, production over here. So um, we've we've got a Hawking Institute now, and obviously the research lab was here already before. Now the only problem uh, we were having right now is that we don't have enough people to actually work on those shifts. So um, we've uh, told everyone to uh, to start uh, making some uh, Martian babies. So um, I think when we started the last episode, we were at. Uh, about 120 humans and now we're looking uh, yeah we're sitting at 145 so they've yeah everyone's everyone's been pretty busy they've uh, they've had lots of uh, lots of things to do and here we go there's another martian baby over there anomaly analyzed hey another anomaly analyzed so that's looking beautiful as well so another thing we've done is we we did finish this uh, medium dome couple of episodes actually uh, uh episodes ago but um We've just started building those uh, housing units in here, and uh, we've also decided to plop down our first um, polymer factory over here because uh, uh, we we're starting to get a little worried about the polymers production, but uh, now things are looking pretty good. All right, let's speed up the time a little bit more. Meteor storm is in soon. I think we should maybe bring you guys back. Yep, that's probably... What are you doing here? Hey, okay, yeah, do come back. I don't know, somewhere here. Anomaly analyzed. Uh, this is all in range, so that's fine. You've got another one. Uh, I suppose he's coming back now. Oh, no, he's going over there. Okay. And I think we're going to have to tell our transport rover over here as well that uh, <clears throat> maybe just one more trip and then, well, the thing is, I'm, I'm going to forget about it. So it's it's probably best if I bring him back right now. I already know. I, I always forget this small, uh, small tiny thing. So I, I think it's best if we call him back now. Uh, same with the Explorer, but... Uh, I don't know, I sort of... Mm, yeah, you know what, just just come back. It's not worth it. Don't want to lose lose him. Um, we also did some more drones. Let's see, we got 10 of them available, so let's, let's unpack a few. Now we got about 20 in here. And that is amazing. Alright, so... Our plan was to start moving all this fancy equipment and buildings over to the, um, come on, over to the dome over here. So, yeah. Well, let's see. How many should we build here? One, two, three. Okay, well... Um, I think we're fine resource-wise, so let's let's just do that. Where's our electronics factory? That's in there. Uh, wait, actually. 
I'm always getting so side side sidetracked. It's just just ridiculous. Um, all right, so now that we have those bigger domes, uh, two options. I, I mean, with with so many like connections and things, it's ooh. Let's okay. Let me just try and finish my train of thought over here first. Now, with so many connections over here, it doesn't really leave us a lot of space with uh, when it comes to building like bigger buildings. So. I was hoping to have either the oval or diamond uh, domes, but uh, if we're not going to get them anytime soon, I might as well start building some of the bigger ones and um, maybe have a mix, kind of like a living slash babies uh, education dome somewhere here and then connect it up again with the, with the farming. But that means most likely have to build another farming and figure out how to connect them all up. But uh, yeah. Let's see. So, uh, personal space. Let's see what's happening here. A colonist has snapped. They demand more personal space and are barricaded inside their house until until their demands are met. Ooh, okay. Uh, looks like he's not in a very, very good mood. Um, he's right. We all need more personal space. All need mm -hmm. Oh, no. Well... More comfort, but less living space. Um, do I want to start building more domes? Well, that's not good. Honestly, I mean... How much living space? And is it like a permanent thing? Or is it just a temporary effect? I wish it would say that here. Um, <laughs> well, I think personal space is a luxury. I mean, come on, guys, you're you you've signed up for this. You knew what Mars is gonna be like, so uh, yeah. Sorry, but um, yeah, that's tough. What's uh, their problem over here? Right, so we are gonna need. Ooh, gaming and luxury. Okay. Probably give them some polymers. If it would fit anywhere here, of course. Right, so... <laughs> anomaly found. Another anomaly. Alright, so that's come from the meteor storm. Beautiful. So that means we got two over there. Um, sweet. So, um, got a lot of children now. Maybe we can slow down with the, with the baby factories over there. Just a little bit. I mean, you can still make a few. That's, that's fine. Just, uh, let's, um, let's not go too crazy with, uh, with all that. Would love to... I think the issue here is we just don't have enough living space in here. For those factories, isn't it? So this is taking about 6, 12, 18. Pretty much most of those residents over here then. And, well... This one's fine, actually. Got another residence there as well. So, it's not too bad over there. But... Ah, uh, let's see... Research-wise, are we getting... You know what? We are gonna change this. Scientists. We need them. Yeah. Alright, here we go. 156 now, so that's... Wow. 30... 36 since we uh, started last episode. That's no not bad at all. So, Cold Wave is almost done. That is... That is fantastic. And... Um, Let's see if we can do any any of those missions over here. If the planetary ones, research progress, resources, new technologies. Um, is that going to help us at all? I don't know, but um, why not? Let's just send one out. Let's do another planetary. These are scientists. Uh, RC commander, five drones. 
2% water, okay. Resources. Alright, I think that's that's probably the full circle now. Um, Alright. Yeah, there weren't uh, many left in there. That's that's okay. Drone heavy load. Is that in this one again? No. Should have checked. Maybe it's this dude. Nope. This one? No, he's got 11 drones over here. He's not gonna run out anytime soon. Uh, what we can do, however, I think we can just... Um, start cutting down some, some of those depots over here, really. There's way too many. I mean, Anomaly we don't need them analyzed. anymore. There's more to the barren environs of the red... All right, planetary projects. So that's for terraforming, uh, seed vegetation, and cloud seeding. Okay. Cool. Yep. Right, so... How are we doing with the scientists? No... Hmm. Don't think we've had anyone graduate just yet. Uh, where are the scientists? Just 11 lifetime ones. Any of them... Hmm, doesn't really show you what's the progress on them, does it? Unless I'm just very blind. Oh no. Um, we did not want to have people working in them. Yeah. And what's going on here? Stored polymers. Is it lacking in... Oh, it needs fuel, obviously. Mm. Well. That's interesting, isn't it? Oh, we have some people here as well. Alright, so let's... Um, let's land you. Somehow we're gonna have to start getting that fuel come down. This is full here as well. Is that even in the range of that is not in the range? Okay, cool. So um let's do another drone hub. And we will probably Well maybe for the time being we'll just slap it right on the corner here. We'll power it up as well. Through here. Come on, straight line. Beautiful. So that's all connected now. So that way we can start... Um, anomaly found. Helping this uh, concrete extractor as well. Another anomaly. So that's... That's come from the meteor storm. That's in... Still for another 22 hours. Okay. That is fine. Whoa. Four machine parts. Really? <sighs> okay. Well, I think we are going to have to start putting down some more of those um, security, security buildings as well. Right. So... Let's do another... What do we need? We need fuel. So temporarily, we're gonna put one fuel right in the middle there. Actually, we don't need this. Yep. Because this has everything in range. What I do think we'll need here is probably some more drones. Yeah, that should be... That should be good. So now we can service the... Uh, rockets, but also our polymer factory over here. Cool. Okay, so let's see. Are we getting some more scientists? Yes, I think we've we've had a few graduates. Um, check the university again. Now we have 15 lifetime graduates, so that's like another four, if I remember correctly. 
a um, little bit well not too worried but just a tiny bit it feels like there isn't a lot of electronics that we are producing right now so yeah we're gonna need some more people in here interesting okay so you know what we are gonna move the electronics store over here like right now so electronics let's let's put you on an angle like this yeah that looks beautiful and we'll let it construct construct it as well let me just try and grab this again what did it oh uh, yeah it was using the uh, rare metals okay very cool so that's gonna take a few few metals few concrete and a few well quite a few electronics actually as well now concrete is I think we're pretty balanced with this so that's it's not a biggie now let's take a look we could increase the production over here and just get rid of this concrete actually yeah, i think i'm gonna do it power wise we are not very worried at all actually yeah and the eternal fusion has been upgraded as well yeah sorry the fusion re reactor has been upgraded with the eternal fusion which means we no longer need people working in here and they can be um, focusing their work in those factories over here so Let's do a quick uh, swippy swappy over here. You guys get out. And we'll send you in to... Do you still have any sp living space in here? Not really. Right. All right. 169 uh, people now. So, which means we are going to start having some homeless peeps really soon. So, how many do we have in here? We've got... 42. Well, that's quite a lot. Uh, right. So maybe we will have to get a few more houses in here as well. Living complexes. How about we slap one right in the middle over here? So let's double check them as well. Overall, their comfort is actually pretty good. And same with all the other tomes as well. So that's that's not too bad at all. Right, so power-wise, we're still losing water. Um, okay, so we're going to have to slap a few more moisture vaporators down somewhere. Let's see, one... What does it take for maintenance? Let's just have a quick quick look. Grab one of those and it's going to use metals. Metals is fine. So how about... Ooh, and let's see. Does it... It could fit in here. Uh, it just doesn't feel like the best location, to be honest. Uh, or, let's slap one down over here. And we'll hook it up with some pipes as well. There we go. That's sorted power-wise. I think it should be able to just pull it straight from this dome from here. And... Oh. Hmm. It's already amplified. Meteor incoming. Oh, where... Uh, I think it must have already landed somewhere. Well, that's right. So, let's see. I think we're probably going to have to plop a few more of those um, moisture vaporators over here. So, let's do it. Research uh, complete. Ooh, carbonate processors. So, that is finally done. And... Okay, I think we're gonna do it like this. So let's connect it up with the pipes. And we also needed some 
some cables over here as well so that should be easy oh all the way there done and we'll upgrade you as well so we'll get a just a little bit of extra extra water out of those so carbonate processor is finally complete um remedals extractor production increased by 50 percent oh that looks good Mag magnetic field oh there's just so many things we we do want to um, do however decorations have increased service comfort i mean yes we we do want all of them um there aren't any critical ones anymore smart homes would be nice medical center mm -hmm. i would actually like to see where the um those good deposits for rare metals are so i don't accidentally build over them so we'll, we'll queue up that one next a research production seems to be going up fairly quick as well so that building is full we'll open up the nighttime shifts in here as well that's good to see we're getting quite a few more uh, beeps in there to to become researchers so very good indeed and can we yes let's oh oh that's fine yeah it's i mean that's because it's turned off let's do it like ah okay there we go that's how we want it and you guys i mean polymers wise i think we're good let's see we're producing 10 we're consuming what like two only so that's fine the same with the, with the machine parts producing more than we consume electronics is a um, well same story but just uh, seems we're consuming quite a few of them for for maintenance so food's going pretty well as well um, yeah no major issues same with concrete that's okay metals we have enough stored right now so we should not shouldn't have to worry too much about it we'll queue up a few more drones here and there i think we know well he could use some few extra static dust storm approaching oh another dust storm so that means all our moxies do we have enough oxygen stored maybe it would be good if we um if we had another one somewhere i don't know let's see where's a good spot to add these these bad boys in well that's gonna block everything isn't it one two three four yeah that will have to do and we'll hook it up with some pipes over here as well there we go Okay, hopefully build up a bit bit of a bigger stock over here if we can. And there we go. This is producing already quite a bit, so nine. And we're demand is five. Might need some more, but let's see. Dust storm in one soul twenty-two. Okay, not sure how long it's gonna last for but uh I, I think we should be fine now we're gonna need some more housing in here all right let's pop uh grocers in here as well i'm gonna have to check what um what exactly did the uh, engineers and yeah engineers need what sort of services so we don't put down too many random ones that we might not need at all but uh let's let's grab a spot in here i think right on this corner would be nice here we go oh we still have a bit more space in here and let's see we can do a small garden here 
small fountain maybe in this corner and um how about a small alley in here that looks pretty good all right so we still have half a dome that we can um well most likely gonna have to put the bring the machine parts factory into into this one as well but uh overall not too bad let's see morale is a little low comfort okay so dining is becoming an issue okay so dining dining where is the services there's another diner let's uh let's plop let's plop you down over here and definitely gonna upgrade it as well service spots uh, <laughs> almost done should we put a yeah we'll probably pop the service spots in in this one here as well and the diner is almost complete so let's upgrade this to service spots as well sweet all right so um going to close this electronics factory now and actually well hmm maybe not destroy it just yet but we are going to rely on um, on the electronics factory over here instead and i'm thinking of increasing workers in this one yeah so we're producing about 10 per soul or or a little less but i think we're still good all right what's going on here uh, we already have some seats so how about let's see forestation plant um so how about we start plopping a couple of these these guys down here as well i think we could do it needs electricity doesn't it um i suppose we could have yeah we could put one in here so for a station plant right over here oh wait we're gonna have to cancel that how about uh so those pipes are going oh yeah directly from here so how about how about here i think this might do and then uh, we'll just add in uh, storage for for some seeds like so all right just two more metals and um, here we go let them construct it real quick as well can we just bring all the seeds and oh right so it seems the last war uh story or the or the challenge is is about to start on on sold 275 um i think um i think this is probably going to be a good good time to to call it a call it an end to this episode over here so uh, we'll we'll take a look look what's what's gonna happen to our colony uh in the in the next episode episode but uh we we got quite a few things done over here and um a little bit worried, but also excited to see what's going to happen with the with the story over there. But uh, I think with the resources and everything we've done so far, we should be as prepared as we can be. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching, and uh, hope to see you in the in the next one.